Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and for the month of August, I'm going to be doing tutorials that you guys are requesting. So if you have a tutorial that you want me to do, just leave them down in the comments below. I might even continue this into September, because I'm actually a little bit busy in August. With that out of the way, let's just get right into it. So today's video is brought to you by Director Wolf, and they want to know how to make a sell button in Roblox Studio. So before we start, go into the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. Now you might notice that we have a block in front of me. Uh, this is a stat giver. So this is going to give me some stats uh, because I need a way to get stats. But if you already have a way to get stats in your game, then you can skip this part. So if you want a quick way to just get stats, then you can go into the model and click the part and you'll have the same thing that I have right now. So I'm going to delete that. So first we need to make uh, the button. So we're going to go into start a GUI. We're going to click the plus and enter in a screen GUI. And then after the screen GUI, we're going to click the plus and enter in a frame. So we're going to put the button inside of this frame. So we're just going to drag the frame in the middle uh, for nothing. Because we're just going to make it bigger and redrag it into the middle again. So there you go. So we have our frame. And you can customize your frame under properties. For example, you can change the background color. Um, you can also change the size. You can play around with it if you want. Now, after you got your frame, you can go under the frame, click the plus, and enter in a text button. So this button right here is going to be our cell button. So we're going to put it right in the middle. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger and put it back in the middle right there. And then we're going to go into properties. And what I'm going to do is I change the background to something like green because green means money, right? And then we're going to go into the text and then we're just going to uh, write cell in capital letters and I'm going to make the text scaled and I'm also going to make it bold. So right now we have a blue background with a big button that says cell. Now you can play around with it yourself if you want, but this is what we have so far. Uh, so this video is only going to cover the actual selling button. But if you want like an exit button and a button to open up this frame, you can click the link in the top right corner of the video right now or click the first link in the description. It will bring you to a different video. Uh, it will show you how to make an exit button to exit the frame and also a button to open up the frame. Okay, so now we need the actual leader stats. So we're going to go into the server script service. We're going to click the plus and enter in a script. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit. And you can write what I write, and I'll explain along what each line does. So game dot players dot player added colon connect function, and then brackets. It's and then inside the brackets, write player, and then go outside the bracket, and then go down the line. So this means that the code's gonna run when the player joins the game. And after that, we're gonna go down the line, and we're gonna write local leader stats equals to instant dot new in quotation marks and we're gonna write folder and outside the quotation marks comma and we're gonna write player so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so what this does is it creates a folder and we're gonna put it under the player and then we're gonna go down a line and we're gonna write leader stats dot name equals to quotation marks leader stats so we're gonna give the leader stats a name which is gonna be called leader stats after that, go down two lines and then write local. So this can be whatever you want. So this is going to be like your stat. So you can use um, whatever your game uses. So it could be like strength. It could be like clicks. It depends on the game you're making. So it's a placeholder for now. I'm just going to write clicks. Okay. So local clicks equals to instance dot new. And then quotation marks int value. And then uh, outside the quotation marks, put a comma and write leader stats. And then go down line and write clicks.name equals to quotation marks. And then you can name uh, your clicks. So I'm just going to name it clicks with a capital C. So it's very important whatever is inside these quotation marks because we'll be using that later. And then after that, you can go down to lines. And this is going to be our money. So local uh, money equals to instance.new quotation marks int value outside the quotation marks comma leader stats and then go down line money dot name equals to quotation marks money so we're gonna name the uh, new int value money which is gonna be under the leader stats 
Now this is optional if you want, but you can set out how much stats the player starts with. For example, if you go down the line after clicks and write clicks dot value equals to 20, then they will the player will start off with 20 clicks. And then uh, if you want the player to start off with some money, you can write money dot value equals to uh, 400. So let's say the player starts off with 400 money and uh, 20 clicks already to their name. Now, if you don't want any of that, you can just change it to zero or you can delete the line entirely. So this is our leader stats. Uh, I'm just gonna name it leader stats so we know that this is the leader stats script. Okay, so after the leader stats script, we're gonna go under the replicated storage. We're gonna click the plus and enter in a remote event. And we're gonna rename the remote event to sell and after that we can go under the text button click the plus and enter in a local script and you can write what I write so local event equals to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child and we scroll a little bit and the quotation marks sell so we're gonna find the sell remote event that we put under the replicated storage after that go down a line and then write local player equals to game dot players dot local player and then go down to lines and then write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function put brackets and then go down a line and write event colon fire server and then inside the brackets write player so after that we can go under the server script service click the plus and enter in another script so that's why it's a good idea to name your scripts so you know which script is which we're gonna rename the script to selling stats just like that and then we're gonna go into script and you can write what I write so local event so it's gonna be the same thing uh, the first line is gonna be the same from the last script you go to game dot replicated storage colon wait for child and quotation marks sell so we're gonna get the sell once again and we're gonna go down two lines and then we're gonna write event dot on server event colon connect function and then put in brackets and then write player and then go down the line and then write a local leader stat equals to player colon wait for child quotation marks leader stats and after that go down the line and write local clicks equals to leader stats colon wait for child quotation marks and then clicks so this is where the um, quotation marks come into play so whatever is in this quotation marks uh, right here after the wait for child uh, after you write the leader stats one has to match up with the one that you put uh, on in this one so here we have clicks in uh, capital C and then L I C K S so here we have to have clicks with capital C and then L I C K S. So now we gotta do the same thing with the money. So local money equals to leader stats colon wait for child quotation marks money. So here we have money with a capital M. So make sure that in your leader stats it also has money with a capital M inside the quotation marks. So after that you can go down two lines and then we can write money dot value plus equals to clicks dot value so what this means is we're gonna change uh, the value of the money to add on what we have in clicks so far and we're gonna go down line and we're gonna write clicks dot value equals to zero and we're gonna reset clicks back to zero so this should be the entire script however uh, right now the player they can keep on selling whenever they want to so if you want to add in a cooldown, this is what you can do. After line 1, go down the line and write local can hit equals to true. And then after uh, the fourth line, go down the line and write if can hit equals equals to true then. And then you can copy everything from line 13 to line 8. And then paste it in in line 6, just like that. And then after line 11, go down the line and write task dot wait. And then this is how many seconds of cooldown you want. For example, I'm just going to put down five. So it's going to wait five seconds. And then you can write can hit equals to true. 
and then the last thing you want to do is after the if can hit equals equals to true go down the line and write can hit equals to false so just like that now I'm gonna quickly close the UI and I'm gonna make a script that's gonna give me stats whenever I touch it and there you go so this is the script uh, if you want the script I'll put it down in the description below if you want to copy it for yourself uh, but just make sure that to change uh, this value right here the clicks uh, to whatever your stat is but anyways let's go test it out so right now if you see we have 20 clicks right here and we have 400 money and if we click the sell button there you go we have uh, zero clicks and we have 420 money which is pretty nice so now I'm gonna give myself a little bit of clicks um, yeah that should be good so if I press sell there you go look at all that and I can't keep on spamming sell because uh, we added the five second cooldown if you remember so I'm gonna keep on getting stats and keep on trying to click sell but it's not gonna sell immediately because we have the five second cooldown so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial if you found it helpful make sure to like comment subscribe and share and uh, if you want to learn how to make an exit and an open button for this GUI in front of me right now you can click the first link down in the description below and I'll see you guys next time bye